Mark it. Mark. This is a project that Emily Bridger wrote called Little Orphans, and Jenny Hawley and I and Emily applied to Telefilm's Talent to Watch program, uh, and we got accepted last June. So here we are today. We're actually at the midway point of the shoot right now. I took Robert Chase playwriting course at Mun, mm -hmm. um, which was awesome, and that's how I started writing this, and it went from there. Yeah. I think deep down I probably always imagined it as a film, but Robert's a really great writer and a really great teacher, so mm -hmm. I took that opportunity. It's the first screenplay, a full screenplay I've ever written, so he was a really good teacher. It's a film about three sisters who were abandoned as young girls and brought up by their uncle. They've come home for the younger sister's wedding and hoping to kind of reunite that family, and when it doesn't, they have to figure out how to make a family with the people that they have left around them. See what what happens during the wedding if the mother shows up and whatever. Yeah, <laughs> family drama. Yeah. So you're uh, starring in this alongside two of your best friends. Yeah, Rhiannon and Martha are two of my best buddies. Yeah, so that's really exciting. And so how how did that happen? I guess they've always just kind of been reading it, and and I I think we always kind of thought we would 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 do it, and Ruth liked that idea, so it all <laughs> worked out. Yeah. So yeah. best friends and real life sisters on screen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's been super fun. It's awesome. Yeah. Action. Three female stars, a female yes. director, a female producer. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a lot of women. How unusual is that these days? Uh, we also have a female cinematographer as well. So uh, I think it is unusual, but it's not unusual uh, when you think of the climate that we're in here in Newfoundland. The Women's Film Festival has been such an amazing support to film makers uh, in this city and women in particular have gotten so many opportunities and have been encouraged and supported so I feel like it was just a natural fit that one day this would actually happen. It's a super special thing to see it's really rare um, but it's nice to live here in Newfoundland where it's so, so supportive of, of female filmmakers. We have so many um, you know wonderful female filmmakers here and Sherry White is actually our executive producer. People like Dan Foley, Adriana Maggs, all these people from here which I think is, is um, largely in part thanks to the Women's Film Festival who were our um, sponsor for this film also with Telefilm. But you know the statistics on women directors and producers are dismal really, even in women writers. So I, I feel like one step at a time we're starting to make some progress. We just had to keep working at it and keep going up and never letting things backslide. That's that's where we get into trouble. Mm -hmm. So as long as we kind of keep going, and this project will help that for sure, mm -hmm. then uh, one day we'll get there. We will get to equity.